I'm Logan Rex. This is Roadkill. Welcome to the third episode of Logan Rex's Road Kills. I am Go. Um, fuck. Fuck. Shut up. Start that again. <laughs> yeah, we'll start that again. Good one now. Fuck you. <laughs> Welcome to the third. E- Go. Welcome to the third episode of Logan Rick's Road Kills. I'm joined with my good friend and uh, sometimes pain in the ass, Eddie Brings, Paul Adderley. Paul, thank you for being a guest on my show. Yeah, you're going to leave me hanging. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, as most of you will well, notice... Well, let's be honest, if I'm leaving you hanging, it's not much to hang by anyway. <laughs> and thank you for that beautiful segue. Um, <laughs> uh, as many of you might have just noticed, my good friend Paul is from jolly old England. Cheerio, pip pip, and all that rot. Um, uh, I'm not from England. I'm from Scotland, <laughs> Nice shot. Nice shot. Um, uh, what part of uh, England were you born in? Jeff Tarsley's a horrible, difficult question. <laughs> I know. Where was I born? <laughs> what? Where, where, where was I born? Where was my mom? You know, I really should stop sniffing glue in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I was born in a little town called Bury St. Edmunds. Okay. Uh, that's where the local hospital was, the hospital. Uh, and I lived in Thetford, which is northeast of London. Right? <laughs> Northeast of London, because uh, people, you know, cause people watching it are like, Seven? Where the fuck is that? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> if you did, I'd be like, <laughs> fuck, you know. Uh, but, well, uh, I do have people from England that so watch the show. So if I say you. <laughs> England uh, and, and London, and then say Northeast London, people are supposed to Okay, and um, you lived there till about what age? 24. 24, and that's when you decided to move to America. That's right. Uh, wh- why did you decide to uh, move to America? I was tired of living in the town I lived in. It sucked. And uh, I actually had more family over here than I did anywhere else in England. So it would have been no different. It would have been worse to actually move to a different town or city in England and have no nobody. So I moved over here. And then, uh, then I met you, which was my <laughs> Oh, you're jumping ahead a little bit because I I, I, I got to have you tell this story. When you when, when you were at the Newark airport, <laughs> you met an interesting fellow when it was during a layover, I think it was, right? It was a... Unintentional layover. Uh, I, I was visiting a friend <laughs> in uh, New Jersey. Because let's be honest, nobody just goes to New Jersey. No. You have to know somebody there. Um, Newark interesting place. Newark International is uh, hell. Um, so I basically what happened is uh, the, the hotel that I was staying was $65 a night. And I only bought just over $200 with me, so I was spending most of it on the motel. And, and it's, you know, this is like a Super 8. <laughs> you know, $35 a night job. Yeah. In, in New Jersey it equates to 65 and it was a uh, Macintosh Inn. Oh. Right across from the Freehold, uh, Freehold, and then it was the East Brunswick Mall. I think it was the East Brunswick Mall. Um, anyway, so if, if you're from there and are watching this, which I doubt, but if you are, <laughs> then you should know where I stayed. Um, $65 a night. It was basically uh, after spending some money at the mall, hanging out with my friend, um, <laughs> I ended up running out of money, so I had to catch the shuttle back to airport to make sure I call my flight the next day. So I was roughly about 36 hours early. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was about 12 hours early. Still, that's rough. It, it was. Uh, so I got there around about 4 o'clock, uh, decided to approach the Continental desk because I like to fly Continental. And uh, give me some free flights. <laughs> um, so that's what happened. I mean, I got to the continental desk. They said we don't have any extra flights until tomorrow, so you have to wait. So, faced with the prospect, I had to stay at Newark International um, 
call one night. And while I was there, you know, I was reading through my book. Uh, it was, you know, it wasn't a lot to do. I didn't have much money. Couldn't really get anything to eat. It was kind of flat. Like, story of my life. Um, so I was, I was just sitting in, a, sitting in the baggage area on the chair. While in my way, I was away, and every now and again, you'd come, you'd be sitting there reading a book, and all of a sudden the light would flash up, and you'd go, <laughs> 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 uh, and I, no matter how many times that happened, my heart would go <laughs> <laughs> through my chest and across the room. But I was sitting there reading a book, and this guy sat down, and I paid no attention, I really didn't care. Uh, and he started striking up a conversation, and I was like, oh, all no, right, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm waiting for a friend. And, Joke <laughs> oh, bollocks. No, he's right there. Oh, okay. Sorry, there was a cop. Thanks, trooper. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so the, the guy struck up a conversation with yeah, you. Yeah, he struck a conversation, and he was like, "Well, uh, you know, I'm waiting for a friend. I'm gonna pick a friend up." Uh, yeah, I, I was. I get the feeling he was there to pick something up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it was a friend. Um, but I'll explain that in a second. <laughs> So I was sitting there, you know, reading my book, and he, he was just talking and gabbing away and asking me questions, and I'm quite, quite, the, quite the polite fellow, so I answered his questions. And he got round to the point where he said, uh, uh, you know, he, he found out that I was going to stay there the night, I don't know why I gave him that much information, but I did. Uh, and he said, why well, don't you come on over? Uh, you know, it's just round the corner from here. Um, at this point, my, my alarm bells were going, <laughs> Um, actually, it may have sounded more like those uh, baggage claim claxons <laughs> that were going off. Well, woo, woo, woo. well, if they were alarm bells in your mind, it would be more like the European. <laughs> yeah, but my brain didn't work that way at that point. <laughs> um, I was just in a place said, no thank you, I'm quite alright here. Uh, and he goes, come on, you can come over, have a beer, we can watch some porn. <laughs> Bells are going, what the fuck? Um, and, but I was still the polite fellow, and I said, no, thank you, I'm quite fine here. Because I, I, I really do think that if I had accepted his offer, not would have been fucking weird in the first place, but, you know, um, we're wanking at the TV screen. <laughs> um, you would have ended up a woman's suit. I, yeah, I would, have ended, I would have ended up a fucking, you know, in a black plastic bag. In some dirty river, uh, you know, never to be found again. So, so I'd be glad that I did not, uh, did not accept his kind offer of beer and porn. <laughs> what, what, what an offer! Well, what an offer! I mean, what is it? <laughs> wow, this beer has a funny aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> Where's well, this beer bubbling? <laughs> Got extra bubbles than it shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So we fast forward, and uh, at this point, you're you're working at Target, and uh, that was the first place I ever got a job at on the overnight. And I remember telling uh, uh, one of the person, you worked the morning, and I was the overnight stock during the Christmas time. And we struck up a conversation because I was telling a friend or a coworker about Eddie Izzard, mm -hmm. and that's how we met. And God, that was in 2004, seven years now, seven years you've been my friend. And it shows, I'm with the the you. <laughs> <laughs> it shows with the receding and the gray and yes, everything. Yes, uh, on me. Of um, uh, we we've had we've shared some interesting uh, adventures. You know, I you know I you wrestled because of you. Yeah, you got into wrestling because of me. We've had one match against each other, um, and then you kind of you kind of fell out of the wrestling gig. And your new thing right now, and you you really have a passion for it that I'm really happy. Is Roller Derby. Sir Rink Payne is his refereeing name. Uh, uh, what derby do you uh, work with here in the Kansas City area? Uh, Dead Girl Derby. That's uh, deadgirlderby.com. Uh, we'll put a link at the bottom of this <laughs> little bar right here. Um, who, we, who, we, no, no, we cannot mention his name. <laughs> he will sue. <laughs> <laughs> will he? Yeah, I mean... You, you, you'll see him pop, you would see him in this screen, but unfortunately I don't have any booster seeds because he's so oh, short. Man, that's, great. <laughs> that's great. Making fun of another very popular YouTube show. I think my last video got maybe 20 hits. He's getting 200 million or something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Roller Derby, uh, and it's been really going 
good for you. You guys are getting ready to start, what, your fourth season? Third season. Third season. And, um, again, uh, I'll put all the information at the bottom of this link. And, um, you know, I kind of started this with Tony uh, at the last show, and it kind of worked out for him. Uh, but uh, if you had to pick one of your favorite UK bands, who would they be? I kind of have an oh. idea who this would be. Though. Wow. I mean, that's... Pick a favorite. That's kind of difficult. I mean... Out of all the ones you've played for me, I think the <laughs> one that we both like the best, Terrible. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I've been away from the music scene, music scene for, uh, you know, True. almost 11 years now. It's, 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 it's kind of hard to pick one. But I would say Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. 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 No, I'll put, I'll put in, uh, if you had to pick a Def Leppard song, what would it be? Um, again, there's so many good ones, I mean, it's, it's difficult, I know people, certain people I know would like, yeah, your uh, tasty music is crap. <laughs> well, I just have two things to say to you, there's one and there's two. <laughs> hey! Um, I don't know, there's, there's so many good ones. Uh, okay, okay. Armageddon. Armageddon? Okay, and uh, this is uh, this how you work out. What is your favorite uh, British cuss word that you still like to use? Bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> well, you know the scent of your own balls. Oh! oh. <laughs> and well, all... if you didn't suck them so well, you know, I wouldn't have them anymore. <laughs> uh, again, guys, thank you for turning in to Logan Rick's Roadkill, and uh, happy motoring. <laughs>